back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've been back on this channel, but I'm super excited to be back. It has been super freaking busy and hectic. I don't even know. So every video that I have planned for September is literally going in the trash. Like, honestly, because it's no use anymore. Summer's over. All of the stuff that I have planned for September is not happening. So we're going to start over in October. We're just going to do a good job here, okay? So all the content I filmed before is just not going to come out to you guys. I'm so sorry. So I know you guys missed all of that good stuff. I had so much stuff planned for you. I promise. But it just did not work out. My computer crashed out on me. Everything just kind of went downhill from there. So, um, yeah. <laughs> we're just living, laughing, and learning, you know, and staying blessed with Jesus in hand. So, we good. We good. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm here today to get back to y'all with a little something different. So, of course, I had to come back with a bang, and hopefully this bang is big. I actually have something fun to show you guys. I mean, you already saw the title and, and the thumbnail and yeah but anyways i'm gonna be trying some really good yummy foods and snacks that i really hope i enjoy and from universal yums yay i'm super excited um i am not sponsored by the way um this is just a package i ended up buying with my own money and it is expensive i'm not gonna lie y'all but um yeah i bought this with my own money i'm not sponsored but I am super excited to try these with you guys because, first of all, Korea, South Korea at that is one of my favorite countries to, like, think about, to look at and explore all of their culture and all of that good stuff. I'm super excited to have finally a little piece of their culture, which is their snack. So I am super, super excited to share this experience with you guys with Universal Yums. I will link their link down below. It is not an affiliate link because I am not sponsored by them, but... It is a link and you can get there um <laughs> i will just link it down below hopefully they will sponsor me after this video i'm super excited like i think i said that about eight times already but i am excited um yeah let's just go ahead and get up into this box and eat the good old food we got some good goodies in the front so we got this welcome to korea little scoreboard thing and it has the universal young scoreboard and that's so cute i think this is really adorable Get your tummy ready, the yum scoreboard. So I guess we'll be using this, period. I think this is so cute. That's the little booklet. And then we got some stickers. I love stickers. I'm kind of scared to open all of these. Only reason being that I know I'm not going to eat all of this right now. But I'm just going to try a little bit out of everyone. I'm going to try not to open a big like hole or anything. So that way I can close it back up later. I think we're going to start with something I'm not really used to. <laughs> Let's see what the initiatory says about the snack. So we're going to open up to what each snack is. And it's going to tell me a little bit about each snack, I guess. So this is the chocolate corn snack with corn flakes. These Cosmo Cocoa Corns are sweet Christmas snack made from cocoa, corn, and coconut flakes. Chocolate came to Korea during the later years of Joseon Dynasty. And it was likely gifted by the Westerns to members of the royal court. Though it wasn't a popular flake flavor at first chocolate soon took on a reputation as a luxury sweet thanks to its association with royalty during the korean war american soldiers bought chocolate with them and shared it with korean soldiers and civilians making chocolate more popular than ever chocolate and corn are actually a common pairing in south korea where corn is frequently used in both sweet and savory dishes so that's a little explanation i like that there's a little explanation about each one and where they came from so let's get into this one i believe i'm going to rate this about one heart and a half because i don't really like chocolate but we're gonna try it because you know i'm testing my limits today oh i got a real hint of chocolate i don't know how much i don't know how i'm gonna feel Hold on. I'm finding it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are good. Okay, I'm a liar. I'm gonna give this a three. Three hearts. Because I like that it tastes like a brownie and you still get this crunch. But when you first eat it, it's like different. Like, I don't even know. That's really good. And I don't like chocolate. Okay, like, I don't I like chocolate candy, but I don't like chocolate anything else. I don't like chocolate cake. I don't like chocolate ice cream, but this is really good. And I'm not just saying that y'all, like this is really good. I like this. Like and I'm not a chocolate person. I don't really like chocolate flavored things. So this is pretty delicious for a person who doesn't like chocolate. You unchocolate lovers out there too? 
but you saw it is. This is pretty good. Three hearts. There we go. Here we're gonna try next. Since you're staring right at me. You got this churro snack. This literally up here just says churros, but that's how you say it in Korean. It's literally churros. But I'm excited. I love churros. Those are something I like. So let's see what the background is for in Korea. There we go. Um, cinnamon sugar wheat snack. All right. With their familiar shape and dusting of cinnamon sugar, these wheat snacks are a snackified version of classic Spanish churros. Surprised to see churros in a South Korea box? You might be even more astonished to learn that these Spanish treats have become a South Korean sensation. Okay. Initially available only at amusement parks and movie theaters, churros are now ubiquitous across the country. This popular Korean street food has been clear cleverly reimagined into a crunchy, sugary, cinnamon wheat snack. Enjoy these sweet snacks with a tall glass of milk or dunk them in a hot cup of milky coffee. <laughs> I can't read for the ideal afternoon treat, period. Okay, so I'm not going to get those or coffee or anything like that because I don't need that right now. But we are gonna try it, see um, how they taste, and then the next time I eat them, I'll have coffee with it. Okay, first of all, I thought these were gonna be a four, and they're definitely a four. Put it on the sheet, four. But let's taste this one next. This is the Bagobi flavored Pushu Pushu. And that's literally what it says in Korean Pushu Pushu. Isn't that cute? Um, these are bulgogi flavored noodle snacks. Okay. Momo Fuko Ando. Mm hmm. I got that name. It is in the instant ramen in Japan in 1958. It was a huge hit, and Ando's company went on to create many more popular products, including the iconic cup noodles in 1971. In the mid 1960s, the South Korean company Samyang created its own version of instant noodles, which quickly became a success. Today, South Korea is a major manufacturer of instant ramen products, including the bulgogi flavored noodle snacks. While most instant noodles are meant to be boiled and enjoyed as a soup, these are intended to be eaten as a crunchy snack straight out of the bag. This noodle snack includes a savory bulgogi flavored seasoning packet. Bulgogi is a classic South Korean dish made of thin slices of marinated meat. Okay. You can see me just getting hungry reading all this. Smash the bag to break up the ramen. Sprinkle the seasoning inside the bag, then give it a good shake to ensure each bite is bursted with the bulky flavor. First of all, this is just the hood version of noodles when you don't really want to go and cook. So, I'm used to this. Let's eat it. Ooh, I bust the whole in the bag. See? This is what we did back in the day. When you broke, this is what you did. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is exactly what you did. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna mix it around so that way everybody gets some flavor. Oh my god. This is definitely a messy snack. Let's eat it. Bulgogi because I've had authentic bulgogi and it's really good but this as y'all can see I'm a classified foodie that is also four mm -hmm. number four on this list again um let's move on to another snack let's try something sweet because I had a lot of salty anyways I want to try these hot and sweet wheat rice snacks oh wait yeah those are right here I'm sure these are this is basically toboki but it's toboki snack toboki is a traditional korean dish consisting of rice cakes simmered in a spicy red sauce made with gochujang korean chili paste and gochugaru red chili flakes okay here we go getting over those hard words i don't think that's it originally served to members of royal court during the joseon dynasty in a mild soy sauce toboki got a spicy upgrade in the 1950s with the addition of gochujang korean red chili paste and it's now considered a korean staple and enjoyed by people from all walks of life the cosmos toboki snack is a crispy take on the classic dish with spicy rice cake like tubes though topoki is traditionally made from rice cake this snack also includes the addition of wheat flour for a more sustainable crunchy texture i don't know why i just struggle so hard with that 
I think my, my brain is like not working. Okay. So let's try them. Yeah. I think originally I'm going to give this a three. Don't know how far that'll get. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to have to deduct that <laughs> to a one heart. I'm so sorry. Maybe let's not be too hard. A one and a half heart. One and a half heart. Okay. Yeah, because first of all, when you first eat into it, yes, it tastes just like the original tofuki that you eat when you have like a hot one. But I don't think I like this as a snack. And I expected that it would be a little bit more spicier because real tofuki is like burning your ass hot. And the thing is, let's try something else. This is something I've really been wanting to try. But yeah, peaches have been grown on the Korean peninsula since ancient times and are very important in South Korean culture. They are believed to provide good health and longevity. And some even believe that the sweet stone fruit can help chase away spirits. Peach blossoms, which closely resemble cherry blossoms, are pictured in many South Korean paintings and said to represent peace and protection. These gummy candles resemble tiny peaches and taste, <laughs> and they taste like them too. The, the beloved fruit is a common ingredient in South Korean desserts and candies, so it's only right that they made their way into your South Korea taste adventure. Let's taste the Nemamoto peach candies. Yeah. This one has a reusable thing. I'm so glad because the rest of them don't have that actually, which is really sad. Yeah, exactly what I was expecting them to be. We don't have that many more. Let's try this one because I know I'm not going to like this. Choco pie, a popular South Korean snack with, was introduced to North Korea workers North Korean workers at the Kaesong Industrial Complex as a bonus around 2004, so fairly recent. These treats quickly became a black market sensation in North Korea. Value for their novelty and taste. Concerned about the influence of South Korean culture, the North Korean government eventually banned them. In response, South Korean activists sent thousands of chocolate pies over the border via balloons as a symbolic act of defiance. In 2021, Latte added this new flavor, black sugar milk tea, to the chocolate pie lineup. Inspired by the line of Taiwanese milk tea, it features a black sugar milk tea filling sandwich between two chocolatey cake layers and a marshmallow center. Perhaps another shipment of balloons is in order. That is really crazy. <laughs> South Korea said, we don't play. We're going to send these over. They want them. <laughs> That's really funny. This isn't particularly a Korean snack, but it was part of the lineup. So, like I said, I don't really like chocolate. And that other one really surprised me. So, I'm trying to see where this one will do to me. I'm not sure I'm going to like it. I'll probably throw it away. And I know I spent money on it, but I'm not going to eat it if I don't like it. I'll give it to somebody else. Let's not throw it away. Just shut up and stop saying what I don't like because at this point, Korea is just showing me I'm gonna like it anyway. Besides the double thing, but this is pretty good. And I think that's because it's chocolate candy instead of just chocolate. But I like how, like, the filling. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's like a good amount of cake in the filling, right? Mm hmm. Good amount of cake, a thin layer of chocolate coating. And a good little amount of marshmallow, not a thick amount, is just real good. Mm hmm Yes, I'm analyzing the cake. Let me tell y'all something. This is really good. I like it. Like, I, look at my little little board. It's coming together. We got a few more snacks. We got one, two. We got three more snacks to try. Four? Four more snacks to try. Okay. Let's try these pretzels. Okay. Um, uh, actually, no, I think that'll be the last thing I try. Um... Let's see, let's see. Let's go, let's go. I gotta hurry up though. Okay, let's go ahead and do these. First, we're gonna go in with the chocolate hime choco hazelnut like snacks. Um, they're wafer cookies. The first wafer cookies went made were made in Europe as early as the ninth century. Wow. These crown hazelnut cream cocoa hime take inspiration from the original hazel cream filled wafers created by Austrian merchant Joseph Manor. Launched in 1890, Manor Wafers wafers are still popular today. Recognizable by their shape, square shape, and iconic pink packaging. 
Crown created the Coco Heim wafer cookie in 1991 as part of the Heim brand. Heim is a German word for home and reflects the Austrian roots of this popular cookie. Crown recommends storing Coco Heim in the refrigerator or freezer and eating it cold for best experience. Try it alongside a cold glass of milk or your afternoon coffee. Now I'm not going to be able to freeze this because I don't have time to be freezing anything but I will try it. Let's see. Maybe it would be better if it was frozen. Oh, there are little individual packets. Thank you. I don't know if you're supposed to break them in half like the Kit Kat bar. Nope, we're not going to do all that. Let's eat it. They're not bad, but they're not exquisite. Yeah. They're all right. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. I give it a two. It's not really that bad, but it's like not my favorite either, so... I would eat it again though. It's not like, oh my god, this is so good. I would eat it every day. Moving on, let's try these honey pretzel butter pretzels. Butter flavor pretzels. At that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, back to Priya. We are. Um, oh, this is a long one too. Oh my goodness, why do they keep doing this to me? <laughs> I can't speak English. The true origins of the pretzel are up for debate. Some believe the first pretzels were made in Germany in the 12th century. While others say that pretzels were invented by the 17th century Italian monk who created the knotted bread as a reward for children who had learned their prayers. Pretzels didn't arrive in South Korea until the 20th century. Wow, that is really not even that long ago. Bro, I'm learning stuff, y'all. Get y'all one of these boxes so y'all can learn about a country y'all like. But they've been a popular snack ever since, whereas the honey butter butter has a much more recent history. The flavor first went viral in 2014 after a joint venture between the South Korean company Haitai and the Japanese snack maker Kalbi introduced a limited run of honey butter chips. Celebrities and influencers begin posting about the product, making the flavor highly sought after. Like many Korean snack companies, JNE quickly began developing new products with honey butter flavor, enhancing the turn permanently in South Korean food culture. Let's get into this. I want to see what these taste like. I'm excited. I feel like these will be at least a three for me because I really like pretzels and I love honey and butter. <laughs> a straight hit of butter wow hold on i think i'll give that a two two and a half it's like this real strong hit of butter but then it's really good at the same time i don't know how to explain it but that is the case so yeah those are those two snacks i just tried now let's move on to this one right here okay this is a strawberry cream sandwich cookie the word sando refers to a Japanese style of sandwich made with soft sakupan bread and a variety of fillings. Fruit sandos are a popular variation and include fresh seasonal fruit and whipped cream. Since Japan and Korea are neighbors, J Japanese culture and cuisine has historically had a strong influence in South Koreans. With its creamy, fruity filling, the crown sando strawberry is a sandwich cookie that takes inspiration from Japanese fruit sandos. The beloved cookie was launched in 1956 and is one of the company's most popular products, also available in chocolate and vanilla flavors. I got strawberry because strawberry is one of my favorite. There was only two packs. Let's get into it. So there's their cookie. Oh, it smells just like strawberries. Strawberry shortcake. Let's try it. I feel like this will be a four for me, maybe a five, because I really love strawberry too. Oh, this is good. I like it. Okay, I don't think this is like as good as I thought it was gonna be. I'm just gonna give it a three and a half. I like how it's a mix of cracker, but also vanilla. Not vanilla, strawberry. Last, but definitely not least, we got some crown gum. This is the crown soup gum, dark gum, blueberry soda gum. Um, I'm excited to try these. Here's what they look like. Really cute little packaging. Soda arrived in South Korea during the 1930s and mostly came from Japan by the 1950s. South Korea was making its own carbonated beverages, including the iconic lemon lime chosong cider, which is still a popular drink today. When crown debate debuted in, in soup gum, dark gum, chewy candies in 1988, they offered five flavors. Great peach, lemonade, strawberry, and kiwi. The blueberry soda flavor is the newest addition and reflects the popularity of innovation sodas in South Korean culture. The candy itself starts out, but slowly softens as you eat them. I feel like 
a lot of this stuff came in Korea so late. Except for like the couple of things that came in the Joseon Dynasty, which is actually interesting to me. I'm just really sour. Hold on. Oh. Oh. I was waiting for the sourness to go in. But I don't think it was trying to go. Ooh, y'all just did something. This is my rating for every single snack that was in here. It was 10 snacks in total. Pretty cool, right? I like how it came with a full package of really fun things to try. I would have never done this otherwise. I'm going to definitely do this again with another country, hopefully. Maybe Japan? I'm so happy I got to do this. I'm, I, like, really cannot wait for my other box of stuff to come. The next time I pick out some more stuff, I'll come on here again to share with you guys my experience in tasting them all. I'm super glad I got to like record this at the moment because honestly I don't know if I'll ever get these again and thank you guys for all of your weight I'm so sorry for going and leaving you and not telling you I'm back starting this Friday so well starting this yeah this Friday but I'll be back every Wednesday and Friday after that at 2 p.m. so stay tuned for all of that good stuff maybe 2 p.m. yeah 2 p.m. stay tuned between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. I'm sorry I keep forgetting my times yeah between 2 p.m and 3 p.m. EST. I will be here every Wednesday and Friday again after this video on this Friday that you are seeing this video. So I'm super excited to be back here and just getting back into my channel. But my channel is my same place that I created for myself and with you guys as fans. I don't want to leave y'all hanging. So here I am back again. Super excited to share this experience a little bit with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below the mochi snack if you made it all the way to the end of today's video please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time i post a new video remember that life is a game that we all were prepared for so make the best of it so spread love peace and positivity all around you and pray before it through it and after it because jesus loves you and i love you guys bye